to everyone. Welcome to the vision of Genesis 39. I want to welcome you this evening and our show. We have a lot in store for you. And uh, we're giving God thanks just now for the, the triplets, the foster sisters. Uh, wonderful song. And we want to welcome everyone. Toronto, you're welcome. Jamaica, USA. Um, over there in the Caribbean Highlands, everywhere around the world, you're welcome here at the vision of Genesis 39. We are about to begin our program, and we're going to tune into another song um, just now, and then we're going to, we have a lot in store, so let me just give a little rundown. We have um, Pastor, Pastor Mendes from the USA, along with one of his colleagues, will be speaking to us, a doctor, by the way. We have Pastor, Pastor Simmons in Scarborough from, from, from the Victory Tabernacle Church. Um, we have Prophet Hedy. Uh, we'll be coming in also um, later on. So we have a good lineup here this evening. I hope you all enjoy the moment we have here at the vision of Genesis 39. And right now we're going to turn over back to my director. Welcome everybody again, welcome. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel Vane. Hallelujah. What a song. Uh, we have we'll be coming up next, past, uh, a Prophetess Vanessa Anderson. She'll be praying shortly from now. She'll be praying, and she's from the Greater Work Ministry. That's Pastor 
Vanessa Anderson, we call her prophetess. And we are giving God thanks for her again. Um, she prayed on Wednesday night, and she will be praying again this evening. God is a good God. God is great and greatly to be praised. All around Toronto, Jamaica, USA, England, just name the different part of the world. I just want to let you know there is a God, and God is to be praised. And he's to be lifted up. In spite of what you're going through, there is a fountain filled with blood. I want to encourage all of you today. Don't feel dismay. Don't feel discouraged. God will take care of you. And now we're going to bring on uh, Pastor Vanessa. And this will be praying. Um, stay tuned for a prayer at this time. Praise God. God is good. Thank you, Lord. While she's getting ready, again, um, as I said before, Mendes from this, um, Pastor Mendes from the state, Pastor Simmons from Scarborough, Prophet Hedy, and others will be coming up. So please relax. We are on a journey. Come with us on the journey that we are on. And it's a heaven journey we are on. <laughs> God bless you. And I want to give a shout out to my son, Bert. It was actually yesterday, Gavin Smelly. And a little later on, you, uh, we will talk about more and more my son, birthday. God bless him, my firstborn. Wonderful young man, a man of God, and I pray for him every day. Amen. I give God thanks for everyone watching at this time. Oh, my Lord, I, I realize a lot of you watching. God bless you at this time. Prayer is on for, by Vanessa, by Pastor Vanessa Anderson. Line and she's going to open up in prayer. Um, Pastor, are you there? I am. You're low, though. I can hardly hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Much better. Okay. Wonderful. Take it from here, prophetess. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, that we can come another time in your presence. In the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. And at your right hand, Holy Father, we have pledges, hallelujah, forevermore. No matter what is going on, we still find pleasure in serving the Lord. And this evening, we want to thank you for forgiveness. We declare in your words that if your people which are called by your name will humble themselves mm -hmm. and will pray, praise God, and will turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You will forgive our sins and you will heal the land. And so we come to realize that the land need healing. The nation needs healing. Glory to God. And so Father, we are sure this evening, oh God, the responsibility of the land being ill. Mm -hmm. It's the responsibility of the church. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. And so we are grateful that we can come in agreement today to pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To give you thanks and to give you praise. Hallelujah. To travail, to come in your presence and to ask help of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For hallelujah, our help comes from the Lord, hallelujah. which made heaven and earth. According to the book of Isaiah 57, 56, 7, you said, Lord, you will bring them to, hallelujah, the holy mountain and make them a joy in the hurt. Glory yes. be to God in the house of fire. And our offerings and our sacrifices will be accepted upon your altar. Hallelujah. As we pray for the nation. Glory to God. Lord. And so we do not only pray for Toronto, Canada. We pray for the world. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going into all the world now with this prayer and we are decreeing and declaring hallelujah even that which is going on. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah in the government in America hallelujah, and in other parts of the nations of this world that God you will take over. You rule Abakosh in the hey, dominion of Jesus. men. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You let Nebuchadnezzar know that you are God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah in Daniel chapter 4. 
You let him know that God, if he would not humble himself mm. under the mighty hand of God, that Lord, you would cut him down. And so you did cut him down to the ground. And so man who is trying, hallelujah, to show their power, your power is greater. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when the church comes together, hallelujah, to pray on one accord, we know that something will happen. And I pray even now that somebody, Shanda, have an amen to this prayer that we pray as the man of God, hallelujah, put this program out there to pray for nations, to pray for government, to pray for kings, queens, and magistrates. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah leaders of the church Jesus. that we may lead a bandiosaya a peaceable and a godly life hallelujah the world is in trouble Jesus. hallelujah glory be to God oh. but as a church we understand hallelujah that your coming is near hallelujah we are beginning to see the beginning of sorrows but we know the time is not yet mm. hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah. the man of sin will be revealed the mark of the beast will be revealed. All of us shunned, but Lord, you are going to rapture your church. Hallelujah. You're going to take your church. Hallelujah. Out of the chaos. Mandio Shire. You didn't stop COVID 19. Glory oh, to God. You Jesus. allow it, Almighty God. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And Jesus. out of it, the church draw closer. Out of it, on Zoom, souls are getting saved. Hallelujah. Souls have been delivered. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. So as we pray this evening for the nation, as we pray for leaders, especially our church leaders, that Lord, we will lay all on the horns of the altar oh, and the old shire, and we will come together and we will pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God because we are your people that are called by your name. Oh, you're Lord. not looking uh, for Justin Trudeau to pray. You're, you're not looking for Donald Trump. You're not looking for the prime minister of Israel. You're looking for the Christian. You're looking for your people that is called by your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who humble them shout and pray. Oh God, we too must turn from our wicked ways. We too must repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Jesus. We do not come Hallelujah. and think we are righteous. How can you? Jesus. Our best righteousness. My God is like filthy rag, but we come as your children because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So when you look at us, you see us righteous. You do not look at our sins. You do not look at our mistake. You mm. still say we have wicked ways, oh, but you yeah. call us your people. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Let the redeem, hallelujah, of the Lord Jesus. praise him. Hallelujah. Let the redeem of the Lord, Lord whom the Lord, Lord has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let the redeemed pray. Let the redeemed praise. Let the redeemed travail. Lord, Let the redeemed call. Your word said, call unto me, and I will answer. I'm sure, Halaboko Shanda, this evening you will answer. My Jesus. God, somebody in Jamaica is praying. Somebody in Israel. Somebody in Canada. Somebody in America. Oh, Oh, God, Jesus. if your people call by your name, oh, God, humble themselves and pray and turn. God, I am turning this evening. Elijah Jesus. is turning. Jesus. Vanessa is turning. Jesus. Pastors, if you're listening, we are turning, hallelujah, from our wicked ways. Jesus. And we are turning our face to God. And we are humbling ourselves under the mighty hand of God. For we are responsible as your people for the land to be healed. So, Father, as we come, Thank you this evening for accepting us boldly at the throne of grace. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Men are always to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Bless this man of God who, hallelujah, is running this program. Be with his mouth. Hallelujah. Inspire him. Instruct him. Strengthen him. Undergird him. Hallelujah. Let, oh God, the power of God, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, go through the airway. They 
second Yoshaya and let God be glorified. Save somebody and deliver them out of darkness. We decree and declare that COVID-19, you are flattened. We say dust to dust and ashes to ashes to you. You are dying out. There will not be a second phase. We make our declaration. We obliterate it from the land. We annihilate it from the land. And God, we thank you that you're sending out hosts of angels to fight against this virus. Mm -hmm. Have your way, Jehovah Sabbath, we praise you. And we give you glory, we give you honor. In the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus, thank we you, pray. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Thank you Jesus. Praise thank God. You. We love you, Lord. We praise thank you. Jesus. You. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you. You're God. distant Hallelujah. away from me. I can hardly hear you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord. What a Hallelujah. prayer. Hallelujah. Straight from the throne of God. Hallelujah. What a prayer. Straight from God's throne. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Powerful prayer. Amen. Um, you notice that um, that's what's from... Um, previous from from wednesday night when we uh have a little issue god is good amen so we happen to play it all over back again and i hope you understand amen praise god we our topic um we have from last week about asking the question if there's an issue if there's a crisis in the church and we need to find that out and we're still on it still uh, we've been um, the churches have been going through um, yet yet to see a pastor turn up or a minister or a bishop turn up and say yes we are going through but um, as a leader as a minister at the Bridge to Tabernacle Church I understand that there are crises around the churches and uh, we're here this evening to talk about we have um, as I said Pastor Wallace will be talking about it and um, um, Pastor Mendes from the state and others will be talking about it. And if any one of you listeners want to share something at the hour of 7 o'clock, you're free to call us at 647-250-5258. And um, there's a lot more stuff in store. And of course, we are here to give. We're not here to receive nothing from no one on the outside there. And we're here to share our love that we have. And um, we have some goodies for you this evening from now until Wednesday. Um, we have um, some sponsorship from the No Frills at, at Chinkusi and Queen in Brampton location. And also we have the Danforth Food Market at Kennedy and Steele's area where they sponsor us with some groceries. And, um, and from the No Frills store, we receive gifts. Um, gift cards and we do have those in our position here and we will deliver it to you um, there's, we, there's ways of means that we, we have so my director later on will give you will update you tell you more about it but for now we are on the topic of, of there, if there is a crisis in the church today yes we are facing some stuff I'm not sure if you want to call it crisis but the church is going through is the church is too silent? Is the church is sleeping? Uh, we are too much caught up in the four wall in the church. So we will be coming up shortly from now. In the next couple of minutes from now, we will have some call uh, of our guests who will be speaking. Um, Pastor Wallace, I hope she's ready. Uh, Pastor Mendes in the state, Prophet Eddie, all these um, wonderful women of God and men of God will be sharing with us this evening. So stay strong for now, um, while um, uh, my director will give us another song. So I want to introduce Pastor Venice back again. Roll it over, and never know. It's yellow, see it 
in a deep Roll it over, we keep till the sick in a deep Roll it over, we keep till the sick in a deep Roll it over, we can never lose the eye. And this one might be not the way. Roll it over, we can this one might be not the way. Roll it over, we can this one might be not the way. Roll it over, we can never lose the eye. My Lord, wow, roll, jod, and roll. Oh, my Lord, what a song! If Kobe in the way, we're gonna roll it over him for sure. Um, that's Brother Levy from Kingston, Jamaica. Wonderful man of God singing, roll, roll, the chariot to land, and we'll never look behind. And if the devil is in the way, we're going to roll it over him. Amen. And if there's any issue that you have in your life, we have a guarantee you tonight, you got to roll it over. Amen. God is a good God. His mercy enjoy it forever. Amen. My thoughts today, before I move into my callers, I have a word. Um, just to get your mind, your soul ready for the kingdom of God. Get ready, because when we see these things, we have to look up, because of redemption, joy, night. Amen. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 24. Praise God. I'm going to read this. This is not what my plan, but God will have me to read this to you. For those who walk in, walk, walking in fear, for those who are wondering what is happening, if you read Matthew chapter 24, he will tell you uh, these things. And it reads us. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in driver's place. Verse 8. All these, all these are the beginning of sorrow. Verse 9. Then, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, affected, and shall kill you, and you shall be eight of all nations for my name's sake. Verse ten, and then shall many be be offended, and shall betrayed one another and shall hate one another please don't hate one another but the bible say you shall hate so when somebody hates you that's what the bible tells you so we must override if somebody being ate i mean if you're living with friends and you know um because they just ate you because of reason that's what the word of god say say here and many false prophets shall rise and shall Many false prophets shall rise. And yeah, let me read again, please. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Many false prophets shall rise. We are in a season right now. I am not looking on the false prophet right now because the Bible tells us. Meaning that it's not everyone said, Lord, Lord is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And it's not every prophet you might see out there and call and say, prophet, God is telling us, warning us. So it's not everything that they put in your, in your spirit or tell you what to do. It's true. That's why over there in John, try the spirit and know if they are of God or of the devil. 
That's the warning I'm giving out at this time. Because I've noticed that around the globe right now, that everybody been prophesying. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's sad to say that the COVID came and I didn't hear any warning from any, any prophets or any prophetess. But I'm here to tell you, just be careful. Whatever God deposits in your life to warn someone, let it be truth. But don't go there falsely. Don't go there and say, God said, and God didn't say that. Of a fuck I can tell you about my life. I oftentimes say to everyone that I know that God called me for a purpose and a reason. And I don't override the power of God. And I'm not here to judge none of you. I am not here to call you fast prophet. I am not here to call you fast prophetess. But I'm just warning you, just be careful of what you're depositing in people's life. Because the Bible said there are many false prophets. And right now, since the COVID virus stand around, oh, oh Lord God, I am sick and I'm tired. Oh God, where were these prophetess, prophets and prophetess in 2019? They rise now. I encourage us. We're here to talk about if there is any crisis. Yes, there's crisis in the church. Because if you're not delivering the truth, you're delivering a lie. Oh, God of grace. It tells me that there's something wrong in the church. So there's a crisis around us. So let us roll the roll chariot along and never look behind. And now we are going to move on to some callers now. But I want to leave with you this evening. Be very sure that you hunker hold and grip the solid rock. Because the rock is Jesus Christ. When you, when you hunker hold and grip that rock, you become untouchable. You become unmovable. You become unsuitable. Because God is the rock. Jesus Christ is the rock. That's why I say, upon this rock I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You are the rock. You are the church. You must become untouchable and movable. God is moving right now. I feel his presence near me and his arms around me. Blessed be the Lord, God of my salvation. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just feel like going on. I just feel like just moving on. Oh, bless you, Jesus. I just want everybody who are calling, who are watching this evening, be sure, be very sure that you hunker whole. Jamaica, Canada, America, England, around the world, be sure, those that are watching, be sure that you are safe in the arms of Jesus Christ. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Who do we have in line now? Prophet Eddie? Gavin Smelly, happy birthday, okay. We salute Gavin and birthday right now, Gavin Smelly. For those who shout out for Gavin Smelly, that's my son. Amen, wonderful young man. Yesterday was his birthday. Thank you, thank, thank you, bless you, bless you, young man. God bless you, Gavin Smelly. May the Lord keep you, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And you're forever gracious before the Lord and knowing that the Lord have called you in a time like now. 
May you bless young man and may you do the work of the Lord. Amen. I know you're one of the one of the Canada at leak and you do well over the years. And I'm proud of you. And you're reaching to the top at this time. You're climbing the ladder very fast. But I'm sad to tell you that you can't catch me no more. I'm far ahead of you, God in Smelly. Um, amen. So I wish you well and God bless you. And no next week is your wife's birthday coming up next week, Friday as well. My Lord. This birthday are coming up and I wish her well. I hope that we'll have her and the have her back. I uh, salute her as well coming up. Um, that's next week, Friday. Amen. We have a Prophet Eddie in line now. Praise God. Prophet Eddie, good evening. Hello. Hello. Bless the man of God. Good evening. Hello. Prophet Eddie, are you there? Uh, yes. Good evening. Good, good evening. Welcome to, welcome to the, the Vision of Genesis um, 39. And uh, we want to welcome you again. Your year before. You pray before and you share thought before. We have a great lineup this evening. And of course, um, just brief us. Um, I agree that there are um, crises around the church, the body of Christ. And um, I, I just want you to tell me, because a question, I'll, do, I'll give some answer earlier, <laughs> but I want you to tell me, how do you feel with this COVID virus that is going on and how the church is being set up right now and going back out to church and, and was off for some time and you're back now. Welcome again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And greetings to all the wonderful listeners out there. I trust and believe that is the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ is on each and every household. Amen. Amen. And bless you too, Mother of God. Um, the question you are asking is if there is a crisis in the church. In the church, right. Yes, that. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no. no. The, 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 the answer is straight no. But only no will not cut it. So it's always important to go a little bit deeper mm -hmm. because you have a long lineup. This, this, this issue cannot be answered and just a tricking of an eye because it goes a little bit deeper mm -hmm. than uh, our yes or no can answer. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is that, remember, the church is a, is a bride for our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you want to say our Christ, our, our Lord Jesus, wife is broke or is in crisis. No, 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 no. It's not in crisis at all. Mm -hmm. But it's just that the body, the body is a little bit in skirmish. The body is a little bit weak. And the body needs to be refurbished. The body needs to be renewed in the, in the seasons and the times that we are in. Let me take a little bit deeper. And please let me use the scripture so that it wouldn't be the understanding of men. Yeah. It wouldn't be the understanding of men. Last week, I did mention that where we are now, scriptures had to give us a little bit insight because this issue mm -hmm. that I brought the church to where it is, mm -hmm. it's a global issue. Mm -hmm. And if something is happening globally, Therefore, our Lord and our Creator and our Savior definitely know something about it. Yes. And if He knows something about it, then He should be able to give us a love letter. Mm -hmm. A love letter that gives us a clue of this time so that we'll be alert. Because He is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows it all. So mm -hmm. let us look on His Word. We are looking on His Word because He said in Revelation that uh, prophecy, prophecy, uh, 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 for, for Jesus, prophecy. So any prophecy that has been said from the scriptures has to be confirmed with the word of God. That's the word true. of God yeah. itself, Jesus said that he is the word. Yes. So let us look at something quickly. Let us look at something quickly. Uh, we, we did read last time or we did refer to Genesis, uh, sorry, Revelation 6. Revelation 6 talking about a white horse that has been dispatched. And the prophets were saying that this white horse will come conquering and to conquer. And it looks as if this white horse that has been crowned has come and is born just like the way prophetic has said. I, I, want, I want us to also look at Revelation 18. You will soon understand that there's a mystery Babylon. It's a mystery because when it was prophesied, they did not even know about China. They did not know about any country from the Asia, uh, from the Asian region. Mm -hmm. So they call it, uh, uh, mystery Babylon. But the revelation behind it is that the spirit of Babylon is not a country. The spirit of Babylon is an oppressive demonic spirit that goes on onto generation after generation and era to era. Yes. Remember that the word Babylon came from the scriptures. It's not from Genesis. That it came when uh, Nimrod uh, viewed a Babylon. 
mm-hmm. and out of Babylon, the spirit that inherits the spirit that uh, allowed um, a Nimrod to rebel from God to mm-hmm. build a kingdom. He named it Babel or the Babylon. And, and out of this Babylon, another nation also came years or, or, or hundreds of years after the book of the also named its empire Babylon. And then when Christ came and left, Apostle John also had a revelation. Mm-hmm. And this revelation is what we are referring to in Revelation 18. And he's saying that there's this mystery Babylon. And this mystery Babylon will, will be so rich and it also will make the king of this uh, uh, on this earth, very rich, and it looks as if when you look through Revelation with a quick glance, that a nation from a nation like China has been able to enrich every country. If you look closer, you realize that even the microphone uh, to the shoes you are wearing, to the table you might have been sitting on, to the clothes you are wearing might be might be made from China, and because of that, every country have have a fraternity with a kingdom that does not really accept our Lord Jesus. Let me go deeper. Uh, 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 this, 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 this nation, this powerful and rich nation that doesn't accept the doctrines of our Lord Jesus has become very successful in trading. Mm-hmm. In the book of Revelation yeah, yeah, 18, we did mention that it will make the earth... Revelation? Say it again. Where in Revelation are you looking at? Revelation 18 what? Revelation 18, uh, just let me confirm it, that so that we don't have to read my, but starting from verse 1, jump quickly okay. to verse, 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 verse 4. Mm-hmm. Verse 4, and also when you jump quickly, you can also read verse 7 and 8. You will soon realize that then there will be a plague. There will be a plague. There will be a plague because this Babylon nation, uh, 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 Found himself, let me, let me read it exactly so that I can quote it exactly as scripture prophesied it. Mm-hmm. So I'm reading from Revelation 18. Uh, let's jump quickly to verse, verse uh, 5. And, and when you have time, you can read it all. Because mm-hmm. of time, you just want to rush yeah, it up. So it. Mm-hmm. Re- Revelation, yeah, Revelation 18, verse 5 it said, For her sins have reached to the heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. Randa to her and just as she Randa to you and repay her debt according to the debt in the cup which she had mixed, mixed, mixed double for her and in the manner that, that she glorified and lived luxuriously and the same measure I give to her torment and her sorrow. For she says in her heart, I will sit as a queen. I am no widow and I will see no sorrow. Therefore her pride will come one day, and death, and mourning, and famine, and utterly burn, fire. Fire. For, for strong is the Lord, God, who judges. And the king of the earth, who, who have committed fornication, and believed luxuriously with her, will weep and lament for her. And they see, and they see the smoke of her burning. Standing in the distance. Now, let me jump quickly. Let me jump quickly because it's a long prophetic. But uh, uh, because of time, yes, because of time, I just want to throw in the nugget. But the saints out there should spend this time in reading the scriptures. They will soon understand that the description given is none no other than where this virus really came from. And it said that because they have, they, 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 uh, they eat or basically they hover every foul bird, unclean birds. Okay. You will soon realize that they said this virus came from the bed. They said because they have a clean, uh, unclean bird, there will be a plague. And mm-hmm. after this plague, they will share it with all the nations, all the kings of the earth mm-hmm. that, are, that are fraternized with them. Exactly that is what is happening. Okay. Every country that have accepted this nation mm-hmm. have also shared the plague according to the prophetic word. Mm-hmm. So, well, um, um, I, I feel like reading on, but I feel a bit pressured yeah, because, and, of, time. Um, yes. That's fine. We'll because of time. Mm-hmm. But I want to encourage all the saints out there to uh, spend time reading um, um, Revelation 18. Revelation it's 18. a revelation that is unfolding right now in our time. It's unfolding because uh, all the nations, as you read the scripture, it says that every nation will stand off away from this nation. All and right. you look at it, every country now is shunning away from China diplomatically. 
the suspension that every country, when you go to India, they are stopped purchasing from China. When you go to the Western developed countries, they are making new deals, never to trade with China again. Very just sad, like the prophetic very sad. word. That's said. very sad, very sad for that. Um, yes. I don't cut your preacher, yeah. but very sad. Because as you mentioned earlier, everything that we have around us coming coming from China, and I, again, um, this we're not going to stop. I don't feel like stopping here, but because of time, I have other guests coming in. Um, but um, just to br- brief us now, um, going back to church now because of the COVID um, virus, and you know, going back to church now. Um, my thing is that um, I have seen it. I'm hearing it uh, about the church. The church need to rise up. And the church is still sleeping. Maybe you're not sleeping. Thank but you. I know the church is too silent. Listen to me now. I, I don't want to mention some names here and here. But everybody can go out there and march and say this and say that. But the church, over the 100 and 200 years, the church just sit one place and not moving out. Why is it the church is too silent? Because, because of silent night? The church is very silent. Yeah. What happened to these bishops, these great leaders? Come on now. Wh- thank that you. is my point this evening. Why the Th- church thank is you. They, 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 they just name all the different organizations can go there and march and, and stuff like that. But the church, you know what? I, I, I don't know, but I believe that I want it's time for us to, to get out yes. from the four corner and get out there and let our voice to be heard. Minister, thank you very much. But now let me encapsulate, let me encapsulate what I'm trying to say. I was spending some time, uh, in the scriptures, not because I want to elaborate, but because, you see, the church is on standstill because we are lost where we are now. We, 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 we've been hit by a news and a word we, we are not expecting. We were used to the four corners and suddenly the word has turned and we still don't know what to do. But I was pointing out to the scriptures so that we know where we are. And the minute the church knew where we are, they they will, know, they will know exactly what to do uh, uh, by, the, by, uh, by, by, by the direction of the Spirit. Now, so now, back to the church, see, where we are now, situations are changing, and the church needs to change. The church needs to change because the understanding of the church was to have uh, uh, the, the four corners, uh, to, to, to put the people together. But the technology is, uh, uh, has been developed so much that at this point in time, my prayer is that, the the, the, the the weight of the church, or mm-hmm. when I say the weight, financial power of the church should be collaborated so that we can go deeper into technology. In technology, in the sense that we will be able to broadcast the word. See, the essence of the church is the word of God. Mm-hmm. So we should be able to come together in this time, even though we are not being committed to meet. Because guess what? A time is coming as you are producing this, this, this oracle through Facebook and other media, a time is coming when Amen. Facebook lifted a flag on you. There's nothing you can do. Therefore, the word of God has been blocked. And Amen. in this season, the Spirit of the Lord is giving to our understanding that we should wake up and, 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 and catch up with the season. Amen. The church should be supposed to have its own satellite, yes. a satellite in, yes. in the space to broadcast uh-huh. the word. Uh-huh. Yes. You see, it's not a material uh, uh, as in a building, but we should catch up with the time because businesses are, are, are sending technology into the sky. And the church is only looking at, uh, uh, up to uh, the, the, the old ways of doing things. So right now, we got to wake up. we got to wake up to think as the Lord himself wants us to think because he's coming to build a kingdom. And this kingdom has to be, has to be equipped with everything that there is to be. So the church is not really in, in crisis, but just that crisis itself, crisis itself, in other languages, especially when you go to China and Japan, they consider crisis as an opportunity opportunity to expand. Mm-hmm. My prayer is that the church has to come together, not only economically, but come together in the sense that let's give the governor ultimatum. If he's not able to deal with this pandemic, then give the church the media, give the church the authority to broadcast in prayer so that we will seek the face of our God. Because what does the Bible say? He said when the, when the nation and the people humble themselves, right now we are beating our understanding uh, uh, to a bill, and this bill is coming out with uh, uh, with different gates. Wonderful. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes, I understand. In, 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 in. 
Prophet, yes. prophet yeah, and, and you. the, the I, time I, when I will that yeah. that is contradictory to what the Bible yes. is teaching the church. Definitely, and the definitely. church is quiet. And My church, prayer yeah. is that we will come together Loose. and 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 give the nations or our country ultimatum that if they are not able, not right. in the house ultimatum, if Thank they are not able to deal with the issue a given period of time, they should give the church the opportunity Thank you to so speak much. the face of God. Thank you, man of God. Amen. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you so much. Um, next time I have to give some more time. Um, I mean, we went overboard, but the word has gone out there and word of wisdom, word of knowledge. And I want to thank you so much you. for your time. Bless and you. God bless you. I hope all the listeners who are listening out there, please comment upon what Prophet Eddie just said and let us know if we are doing bad or we're doing good. Thank you again, Prophet Eddie. I'm looking forward to bless you. Bless you. to come over you with all. us again. Shalom. Thanks again um, for joining us here at, at the Division of Genesis 13. And God bless you. Have a wonderful evening, you and your Shalom. family. And God bless your church as well. So you are from the Jerusalem. Um, where New Jerusalem the, Tabernacle, yes. The, the New Jerusalem Tabernacle. The tabernacle. New Peace, yes, the New Peace. Uh -huh. <laughs> the New Peace. The new peace, yes. Yes, okay. New Jerusalem Tabernacle. Uh, we we Tabern basically yes, need yes. the new peace yes. that the Lord has given. Okay. Right. Amen. Okay, wonderful. You. I have your flyers Shalom. in my hand here. Bye. Shalom. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. That was Prophet Eddie from the New Jerusalem Tabernacle Ministry International. And he, um, he said he don't believe that, that there's any crisis in the church. Um, but nevertheless, um, uh, my belief is this. Everybody have a different belief. I believe that the church is going through. And we yet to see the real thing coming up soon. I do believe that because the church are apart. And somebody will say, what is the, who's the church? There's the next team. Is the next topic will be coming up soon. What is the church? What is church? What is the church? That's the question. Uh, but said no crisis in the church. We have a line here. Oh, we're going to move to a short commercial right now. Stay tuned. God bless you. headed in our direction and starting over in Africa, over the Sahara Desert, and it's evacuated. This would easterly trade winds over the Atlantic. To be quite clear, we see this every single year. The difference is conditions are so right. The dust usually falls apart over the Atlantic, but this year it's staying together, and that's pretty impressive. You can see the view from the International Space Station. This is courtesy of NASA. You can kind of see that there's a haze there from the International Space Station, and there's a lot of feet of it, so check it out. From Africa, it's moving to the west across our area eventually, but not quite yet. And I'll tell you the time in a second. As I said into motion, you can see over the Caribbean, it will be really, 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 really dense, really heavy. As it makes its way up into the St. Louis bi-state region, it's not going to be as thick, but we'll keep our eyes on it. When we see it thicker, it's going to form a really brown haze in the sky for us. It's going to be a thin veil. What that means for us is we're going to see really beautiful sunrises and really beautiful sunsets. But a lot of people are wondering, is it dangerous? It will be dangerous for some. What makes it dangerous, it actually gets pretty thick. But that will be the case for our area. The time frame for ours will actually be Saturday, rolling into Sunday, and even early next week. It can produce some irritants, and it may irritate you if you suffer from things like allergies, the coronavirus, and respiratory issues, but that's about it. So we'll wait and watch the show as it arrives. Here at Gen Exotic Studios, your source for rare content. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a, a great weather. Um, of course, um, it was on Tuesday morning. I, I called my sister in Jamaica, in St. Mary. And um, while I was talking to her, um, she mentioned to me that um, she cannot go on the outside. I said, what's going on here? She said, there, there is dust all over the place. I said, what, do you have a heavy wind out there? She said, there's no wind. But the, the place was just flooded with dust in the air. 
and it was, uh, believe it or not, could be dangerous. Nobody know why. So, for instance, you just cannot see that dust close to you, but it's, you can see it from afar. So it, we were told that it came up from Africa and all over the nation. And now I was told that it's actually arriving to the United States. I'm not sure. I don't want to give false news. Um, but that's what it was told. It says a serious dust is going on. We hope that you don't touch we over here in North America. I pray and trust that will divert. So there's different storm, and it's the first in history. I was told that this kind of um, bad weather come across the nation. So please, who have fam family and member in Jamaica, please check up on them. We don't know what this is all about. I can tell you right now that the coming of the Lord is near and God is coming. You, you don't need to ask anyone if it's true that God is coming. We have seen it. We have heard it, that God is coming. So get ready or be ready so when he comes, you can meet him. Next, Paula will be coming in. Um, Pastor Wallace will be coming up next um, um, on the show. So give, give me um, uh, a song in the meanwhile. Praise God. So God is good. So I just want you all, let me run it back again to you. Um, this evening, I uh, think it's seven, well, it's going to cut down a little bit um, because seven o'clock we still have guests coming up. Um, for those callers who want to receive, um, <clears throat> to receive a, a, a gift card, you have to call in at 647-250-5258 or you can text us on our WhatsApp, our, our message there. Text us there, and we will you hope someone will win something tonight. We're not really say winning, but if you if you share with at least ten folks, ten friends, members of your family, ten people, you share this program with. For sure, tonight you'll walk away with um, some some of the um, gift cards that we have here. We have a lot of gift cards to give away, and that's coming. Courtesy from um, sponsor from No Frill Store at Jinkuzi and Queen. That's a No Frill Store. The good news: one of the cards you got a shop in Brampton.